Welcome back, everybody. This is Ayab Budyab. I'm a Senior.NET Application Developer. In our uh, series of videos, we've been discussing ASP.NET 4. As I mentioned to you before, I'm covering uh, all the basics of ASP.NET, so uh, there's a lot of information to cover. Uh, starting with the basics, and I covered some items uh, recently, and I showed you the uh, different ways of submitting the, um, uh, the form data with, um, with the simple button and the link button and the image button and so on. And I also showed you how we can work with autocomplete, uh, specifically when we work with Internet Explorer and, um, and ASP.NET. In uh, today's visit video, I'm trying to concentrate on uh, posting a page, but I'm going to show you different ways of doing that. The first one, which is the usual one that we work with, is post posting the page to itself. Right? We load the data, we fill out some type of information on the page, and then we click the submit button, and then that uh, that uh, information is posted to the uh, page itself. Uh, there is some page lifecycle that happen. It goes through some steps, renders some HTML, and give me the data, uh, the HTML back to the uh, browser. Now, what what else we can do with that is posting to another page. We don't have to post to the same page, although almost in many cases, many many cases, you just post the page to itself. You don't post to another page. But ASP.NET support posting to another page. And uh, by the way, this posting to another page feature is not specific to uh, .NET 4.0. It was in previous version of .NET. Okay, so we're going to create. We're going to create a project. Uh, we're going to see first how we can submit the page to itself, which is the simple one we've been doing all along. And then we're going to take that code, edit it and then make so, uh, the page submit to another page. Okay? Uh, let's go ahead and get started. File, new, website. And I'm going to um, use the simple website that we've always been using in our application, ASP.NET website, that targeting.net4. And in this case in here, as you notice at the end, I'm going to name it um, test post back. Click OK. That will give me the simple structure and then from there I'm going to create uh, one page. Uh, the, the first page I'm going to call it sender because later on I'm going to create another page and let's call it receiver so we can post to that page. But again I'm going to start with the uh, first page posting back to itself. Okay, let's resize our um, window here a little bit. Try to click, add new item. That new item is a, um, a web form. Let's again name it sender. That ASPX. Click Add. Gives me the simple form, sender.aspx. Inside the div, I'm going to create just a couple of text boxes and then um, a submit button. So um, let's do that. Take some real estate here. And then I'm going to drop a label. After the label, I'm going to place a text box. break after that and then copy the code paste it again label and text box you notice that ASP.NET automatically give them different IDs right and then down here I'm going to drop a button okay and the text in here is submit the text for this one is first name, text for the second label is last name, and then just simple text boxes here, let's call them txt first, and this one as txt last. Okay, review it in the designer, sometimes the designer takes a bit to load. So I have first name, last name, and a submit button. Okay, let's go ahead, go back to the source, save all, 
right click on the page well before I do that let me go ahead and uh, go to the source of this page view code on the page load I'm going to uh, add some information to see to show you that this page is posting to itself so in here under the uh, submit button I'm going to drop a label like we've done before and give it the uh, the ID LBL result okay and then go back to the code and then say here LBL result equal I'm sorry LBL result dot text right we need to get to that property equal hello and then plus txt first just simply that let's go ahead and save and then right click on the page uh, let's see here save all right click on the page and then view and browse